Astronomers have been trying to figure out little red dots spotted an early image of the universe through the James Webb Space Telescope. Now, a new study says they could be dark matter stars. Explore these topics and more on Surveying the Cosmos. Hi everyone, I'm Eric and welcome to Surveying the Cosmos, where I'll get your space news and more real fast. More tantalizing proposals are trying to explain the mysterious little red dots or LRDs that were found on the James Webb Space Telescope at 280 million years after the Big Bang. First proposal was that the LRDs were fully formed galaxies in a time where the universe's first stars haven't even formed. In the last episode, I talked about another proposal that these little LRDs are black hole stars. Now a new study published in the journal Proceedings of National Academy in Science believes that at least four of these LRDs could be supermassive dark stars. These supermassive dark stars are as bright as an entire galaxy, but they are primarily composed of pristine hydrogen and helium being supported by the gravitational collapse of very small amounts of self-annihilating dark matter inside them. Dark matter composes 25% of the universe, but its nature is very elusive to scientists and astronomers. It is believed that dark matter has particles that when they collide, produce heat, thus converting the clouds of hydrogen and helium into bright shining dark stars. These dark stars could be the seeds of supermassive black holes of the early universe, powering many distant quasars observed by astronomers. More observations are needed to figure out what is really happening at the birth of the universe. In this episode's astrophotography image, I snapped up the supermoon on October 6. A supermoon is when the moon is at its perigee, the closest point to Earth. This month's moon is named the harvest moon as it is harvest time for farmers in the Northern Hemisphere. Thanks to all my newest subscribers for joining me here at Surveying the Cosmos. We just busted over 1,000 subscribers. I am grateful to have you join me in learning together about our amazing universe. I have more space stories. Be sure to check out my other episodes of Surveying the Cosmos. Until next time, take care.